Jack Carr, you just won the Super Bowl. Let's talk about it, brother. <laughs> well, that's not happening. No, it's uh, exciting news, and uh, I didn't know they were going to announce it today. So I got a uh, call from my publicist a couple hours ago and uh, asked me if I had heard about it, and I said, nope. <laughs> but very cool. Well, what did that feel like, man? I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this, like, you know, you we come from simple roots, military people. What did it feel like that, you know, you're going to have, like, one of them – the major motion picture stars out there representing essentially you. It's it, well, it's crazy. Uh, so it's been in the works for a while, and it's uh, it was optioned before the first novel even hit shelves. So, um, but just didn't couldn't announce it or anything like that. You know, I'm the kind of the low guy on the totem pole as far as this stuff goes, and they uh, they do their thing. So, uh, and then it just started gaining momentum, more momentum, and. Uh, the craziest part, though, is that as I was writing the terminal list, uh, there was only one person I thought of playing the role of James Reese. Um, I didn't think of James Reese as him. I thought of him playing the role of James Reese, playing the character yeah. of James Reese. And that uh, was Chris Pratt. And there's there was no connection to, to him personally at the time. There is now, uh, through which is another crazy story. Um, but at the time, I just thought, you know, this is the perfect. There's no one else. I even considered it was only Chris and uh, and there was only one person I thought of directing it and that's Antoine Fuqua and to have now both of them be uh, be involved and both of them won it before the first before the first book even came out um, was uh, completely surreal and a story I'll tell at some point because it's uh, it's pretty cool how it all came about uh, but uh, amazing how things work out but still a lot of hurdles to overcome so it's uh, still definitely not a and I'm going to keep my expectations very low in case it goes off the rails. Um, so, uh, so I'm not disappointed if that happens. So uh, I'm just uh, so excited that, uh, that they were interested in it and that the two people I wanted involved are involved and that Chris is set to play the main character and excited about it. And uh, I can't think of anybody, couldn't think of anybody better as, uh, <laughs> as, how I thought of, uh, as I was writing it, uh, you know, shows. So uh, yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah, and you know, Chris has been a big fan of the SEAL community. I've seen that for a while now, especially with all the outfits he's wearing and everything that he does as far as, like, philanthropy and all that. I mean, it's really cool, man. And to have someone like that to come out that's very pro-military, he's pro-Christian, I'm just going to throw that out there because I'm Christian, but it's really exciting, brother. And you know me, I'm a huge fan of yours, so uh, I fanboyed out when I heard that today, man. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't posted anything about it yet or haven't, uh, you know, it's, uh, haven't done anything yet. Just kind of taking a, taking a little breath and, uh, <laughs> yeah, very cool. But yeah, Chris is, I mean, the best, like one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Totally down to earth. Uh, drove out here to Utah, um, a while ago just to hang out for five days, um, when we were getting this all going. So, uh, just, um, yeah, couldn't, uh, couldn't be in better hands. That's for sure. This is awesome, man. So what, any other final words? I'm going to let you go. I know you have like a lot of uh, traveling and everything. You have Savage Sun coming out. Yep. Which, uh, yep. Uh, that hits yeah. shelves here uh, April 14th. And that's the one I've really wanted to write since I was a little kid, since I was in sixth grade and first read The Most Dangerous Game by Richard Connell, which is a 1924 mm -hmm. short story that explores the theme of hunter and hunted. And uh, it was one of the ones I had on the table when I was figuring out which book to start with and what uh, theme to explore first. And uh, it was very evident to me that I needed to develop the characters a little bit before they got to the mm -hmm. stage where, uh, where Savage Sun would be uh, the right one. And uh, and so I started with the Terminal List and then True Believer and then uh, Savage Sun was right, the right time in the progression of the story, the development of the characters uh, to dive into this this book I've wanted to write since I was uh, 11 years old. So uh, and I knew one day when I read it back then that I'd write a thriller that paid tribute to, to Rachel Connell's uh, short story and Savage Sun is that tribute. So, uh, so excited for this one. I am too, believe me. And this, this network of authors and everything that is available nowadays is amazing. Veterans, veteran supporters. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I'm very excited for this upcoming year, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a crazy one. Last year was crazy, and this year is gearing up to be uh, even crazier and busier <laughs> uh, and, uh, and even more exciting. So 
uh, yeah, now that uh, Savage Son is uh, uh, all the final edits are, are in the books, um, it's time to to really put everything else aside and dive in to book four. So uh, book four is coming along and uh, it's awesome. And now I just need to, uh, you know, put everything else aside and totally devote myself to that. Exactly. Well, brother, I'm going to let you go. You travel, you be safe. Don't get hurt because we need your input in the, uh, the new series coming out. And I'm very excited for you, man. And we're going to have hey. you on a protectors again very soon. Awesome. And uh, we got to do some shooting soon too. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm always up for that. So appreciate all the support. Thanks so much. Thank you, brother. Take care.